Hello everyone, this is Crypto Bitlaw back with another blockchain legal brief and today we're going to discuss Elon Musk and how he recently filed a motion in federal court out of Manhattan seeking to terminate a settlement with the SEC over fraud allegations related to some tweets that he posted about Tesla and possible market manipulation that resulted therefrom. But before we dive in, if you enjoy this content, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. We would really appreciate that. And with that said, let's dive on in and parse this out. All right, so as we can see here, the Wall Street Journal reports that Elon Musk seeks to terminate a 2018 fraud settlement with the SEC. The Tesla chief executive says that the settlement created unworkable requirements to monitor his public statements. Elon Musk is also disputing the SEC's earlier claims that he defrauded investors with a 2018 Twitter message. They say, Tesla Incorporated Chief Executive Officer Elon Musk asked a federal judge on Tuesday to scrap a settlement he reached with the securities regulators in 2018 that required his tweets to be pre-approved, a condition that has fomented an ongoing conflict with the government over whether he and Tesla have followed the rule. In a motion filed in Manhattan Federal Court, Mr. Musk's lawyers argued that the Twitter oversight policy has become unworkable, while the Securities and Exchange Commission has abused the deal to make, quote, round after round of demands for voluminous, costly document productions with no signs of abatement. In a separate filing, Mr. Musk also disputed the SEC's earlier claims that he defrauded investors in 2018 when he tweeted that he had, quote, funding secured to take Tesla private. The Tesla CEO said he felt pressure to settle the SEC's civil lawsuit at the time and added, quote, I never lied to shareholders. I would never lie to shareholders. I entered the consent decree for the survival of Tesla for the sake of its shareholders. An SEC spokesman didn't immediately respond to a request. So for, for those of you that aren't really up to speed on this, um, this whole settlement stems from a lawsuit that was filed by the SEC against Elon that alleged fraud and manipulation uh, back in, I believe it was 2018. And the dispute rose from regulators seeking to force Elon out of the company, Tesla, alleging that he misled shareholders when he tweeted he had funding for what would have been the largest corporate buyout ever. And the SEC alleged in its lawsuit that Mr. Musk first informed Tesla's board of directors, chief financial officer, and general counsel on August 2nd of 2018 that he wanted to take the company private at $420 a share. Um, kind of uh, harkening back to the uh, marijuana culture, culture symbolism of 420, which, you know, you know, Elon Musk being the ever troll that he is, <laughs> was, I guess, kind of poking fun or raising a joke or whatnot. But it stated that uh, Mr. Musk's discussion with the Sovereign Wealth Fund, um, who supposedly he was securing funding from, it didn't include any financial details, such as a transaction, the SEC alleged. The parties didn't, for instance, discuss how much of a premium over Tesla's current trading price would be offered to shareholders. The lawsuit says Mr. Musk chose the 420 by estimating he would need to offer a 20% premium, which would amount to 419, and then rounding it up by one. The SEC said in its complaint that, quote, Mr. Musk stated that he rounded up the price of 420 because he had recently learned about the number's significance in marijuana culture and thought his girlfriend would, quote, find it funny, which admittedly is not a great reason to pick a price. The SEC's complaint said the number 420 is sometimes associated with marijuana. 17 days after the tweets, Mr. Musk announced he decided against this idea. And so as a result of the settlement, what ended up happening is that the SEC um, appointed counselors to monitor Elon's tweets before he tweeted about Tesla or anything related to his uh, investment enterprises in order to kind of keep him on a leash. And now he's coming back and saying that it's uh, too burdensome and it's forcing him, the requirements are so voluminous, they're so broad that um, it's it's more hassle keeping up with this thing than he originally bargained for. I think one of the, the main takeaways from this is that, I mean, the SEC is definitely on him like white on rice with regards to how he tweets and presents information to the public as it pertains to uh, publicly traded securities like Tesla and probably soon to be SpaceX, right? But there's no mention here of what he's doing in terms of the markets as it pertains to Bitcoin and Dogecoin and other cryptos. As we all know, uh, Dogecoin had its largest spike in history due in large part to Elon Musk tweeting about it and pumping it. And he holds Dogecoin and he admitted to that. Same thing with Bitcoin. Uh, right after he tweeted that uh, Tesla had acquired Bitcoin and was keeping it on its balance sheet and would accept Bitcoin for the purchase of Tesla, um, 
Bitcoin spiked and it had one of its largest pumps. And then soon thereafter, he tweeted that, oh, Bitcoin bad, uh, proof of work mining bad. It destroys the environment. We won't be accepting Bitcoin anymore until we figure this out. Uh, the environmental impacts, that is. And then as a result of that, Bitcoin started to dump. So I'd like to see if the SEC is going to start enforcing any sort of regulatory frameworks or schema on individuals like Mr. Musk um, as it pertains to how they tweet and promote uh, things that aren't classified as securities like uh, Bitcoin. I mean, I guess at that, I'm just going through the, the analysis in my head. And if the SEC has come out and said before that Bitcoin isn't a security, um, Ethereum isn't a security, then I suppose it would be out of their jurisdiction um, for him to, I guess, manipulate those markets like that. It would have to come under something like the um, uh, the Federal Trade Commission or something like that. So, I don't know, just kind of food for thought, interesting development. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Uh, if you like this, this content, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you all in the next video.